Straight out of Narawa here in New Zealand, here's Mario. Hello, Mario Vlogs number 475, a lot. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, in the background here, I've got some photos that I've taken at various stages over the last couple of days. These are just what I see in my daily travels about the place. This is my street and where I go to work and things like that. So, yeah, they're just playing in the background as I talk. Now, as promised, I said I had a few little stories about little old ladies. And, well, here's one. So, oh, quite a few years ago when I was working for the Lands and Survey Department out of Wellington, we used to go and do what we called photo control, which is done for uh, photogrammetric purposes so that they could um, control um, various aspects of photographs and things like that for mapping, large-scale mapping. Um, in the days before LiDAR and satellites and all that sort of thing. So we used to be given a stereoscopic pair of aerial photographs and, or a number of them in a, in a job and we had to go out and place survey control in various places or locate survey control or measure to survey control. So this covered quite large areas and we had to get sort of off the beaten track a little bit. So <clears throat> this one um, job or site that I had to visit um, was at the uh, back of a farm and it, I think it, had, it, was, it had a trig station nearby so all of the trigs have um, very good access notes and things like that so it just said drive along such and such a state highway. I'm pretty sure it was over the wire wrapper, um, the, nor the north end up by Ekatahuna and Paiatua, around that way, way somewhere, or, or maybe a little bit south there, but somewhere certainly north of Masterton. And it just had a very clear little track up to the trig, and you just drove down the road. It gave clear details and what have you. So I just uh, drove down the road, oh, there's the track, turned off the road and up we went, up into the, um, oh, maybe a couple of kilometres back into the, um, back in off the road and uh, through a few tracks and things and um, did, did our little bits and pieces that we had to do and uh, had it planned really nicely because it was um, sort of just on dusk when we uh, drove out and driving down the track, and uh, oh, we had to. Oh, that's right. I did have to go back the next day, um, just to finish a little bit off. So, driving out down the track and come to uh, drive out onto the road, and hello, <laughs> the gate was closed, and there was this huge, like it must have been an inch and a half, but a chain around the around the wooden post and the gate with this padlock the size of your fist uh, locking it all up and I thought uh oh oh uh oh here we go so I had a bit of a look around a bit of a scout around and well there was a, a house all about two or three hundred meters away so we walked down to the house and uh, we were greeted by a very angry little old lady but I'm pretty sure it was a practiced anger, um, I remember, but she was quite intimidating. And um, she made it abundantly clear that um, it was not you were not to drive off the highway onto her property without asking for permission, which was fair enough. But uh, she made her point uh, in a, in a, a, using a number of different mediums in a very clear and succinct way. So... Uh, the next day, of course, that was the, the worst bit, was having to go back to wanting to go back up there. So I went back the next day and politely asked the little old lady, and then she directed me up to some uh, 
cattle yards where I was to talk to her husband and, and <laughs> it all resolved. But uh, yes, the, the little old lady had obviously one too many surveyors had uh, had uh, traipsed onto her property without her express permission. And uh, well, fair enough. But uh, yeah, it was just a, a little bit of a, a laugh. And uh, well, she provided me with a, a pretty good sort of story, really. So um, yeah, um, that's one of my little old lady stories. So moving on to my diary here. Um, and well, a cracking day today. It's a beautiful evening. Just the love nice and still and... Uh, but not a bit chilly, but nice, very nice. And so I was able to get a couple of bits of lawn mowed. Um, yeah, I, I needed a little bit of rest in between them, but I was able to sit on the deck and just catch up with a few little bits and pieces on my phone and, and then get back into it. So I was very, uh, very pleased with what I uh, achieved there. And we're, we're sort of almost back up to date with the lawns. And yeah, the lawns haven't overgrown. The, still mulching in pretty well which is um which is good i'm very um very pleased with that and uh yeah so 475 locked um is the um our vlog for today and we're going to have a question a question about a particular little old lady and uh 141 uh, hint one we're still uh, going on on that one i may have um just got a little bit uh, off track there with my answering there and sort of definitions of Southern Europe and Western Europe and what have you. But um, I'm sure we'll reach a conclusion there in, in due course. Teach taught four hours today. Uh, we, we went pretty well. I was um, pretty good. I'd teach two hours, have a one-hour break, and um, then uh, another two hours. And in my break, I went down to the... Um, went down to the hub and uh, there was a group of my students um, discussing um, their uh, their plans for a project that I've got them doing so I was able to observe them um, there they had the, they're building a tennis ball launcher to throw out a tennis ball as far as they possibly can and so they were discussing their strategies and uh, they had prototypes and everything I was really pleased with it was they were doing an excellent job so I was really pleased with what they were done it was great really enjoy it it was really good to see and a little bit of prep for tomorrow and then we're into it again um tomorrow's what do we got tomorrow's Wednesday so we've got five hours of teaching tomorrow so uh, yeah building up to five hours and then uh crank it back um yeah just the three hours on the Thursday and uh oh and the meeting I've got a a staff meeting on um, a staff meeting on on Thursday, and um, well, I'm going to be the uh, yeah, I'm going to be the chairman. I've got me gavel, so we'll see how that goes. So uh, yes, that'll be be a bit of interest. Alrighty, so yeah, so that's it for the diary. Let's have a look at today's challenge. And well, I'll, I'll, for today's challenge, I've got a little bit of a video clip of a well-known little old lady, or she was well-known throughout my, um, my childhood and teenage years. So yeah, uh, let us know um, who the little old lady is. Um, the actor and the part that she's playing in the program that she's in. So we'll quickly move over to there and you'll see this uh, little video clip on the t today's Turn challenge. him loose. All I'm going to turn loose is about a pound of buckshot. <laughs> There's half a pound. Where'd you like the other half? <laughs> come back here! Who is this I little old lady? <laughs> Granny, I do wish you'd stop spraying the lawn with that rock salt. It burns up the grass something awful. Wait till you see how it heats up Mr. Drysdale's hind quarters. <laughs> Come out, Drysdale, you coward and fight! Come on up! I think I'd better quit. 
total piece. Stop! Your trucks while you're able to make them. Now you turn around. Walk towards our house. I refuse to take one step. Now, you want to walk or you want to limp? <laughs> You keep hanging around here, you ain't going nowhere neither. <laughs> now, see here, madam, I insist! <laughs> I'll be back! I'll be waiting! Turn him loose. All I'm gonna turn loose is about a pound of buckshot. <laughs> So, for the Hall of Fame, tell us who that little old lady is, and uh, who the actor is, and uh, the the um, program that they were in, long-running uh, serial uh, situation comedy, uh, r ran through my teenage years, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome stuff. Alrighty, and uh, well... Yesterday's challenge, who was this guy? Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar, who um, was um, one of the uh, topics in the dark tourist um, thing or, um, program on Netflix that I was uh, gave a bit of a review for yesterday. And uh, Moz got that, so uh, he's uh, still on. He's got, that, he's got that board all sorted all to himself. And... Uh, so second day now on there as um, wiping and dominating the board. So uh, yeah, we need someone to challenge him. See if we can uh, see if we can uh, get get a uh, another name on the Hall of Fame there. But uh, Moz is doing a pretty good job. So you'll have to uh, be pretty smart to uh, get in in front of Moz. But uh, don't let that stop you trying. All good. So uh, there we go. Today's vlog, number 475, locked. And a um, big shout out to all the little old ladies out there. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a marvellous job. So, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing, commenting and questioning and all those marvellous things that you do that support Mario Vlogs. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button.